we're here in uh, Silverstone, uh, which is obviously my home circuit. Uh, and you know, obviously, uh, the sun shines out, which is uh, more to say than likely in England. Yeah, we're at Silverstone, uh, on the Grand Prix track from England, and well, it's the first time we are here uh, because we, we gained so much English teams that we take the decision at the end of last year to go to England. And yeah, well, it's great to be here. We're in Silverstone, one of the best tracks in the world. They've won a Grand Prix here. Uh, the first race of Formula One, so yeah, amazing track and really, really nice to race here. It's my first time in Silverstone and it's a great circuit, really big compared to other ones and I'm pretty happy. This is uh, one of my favourite tracks just because it's, uh, it's quite a fast and flowing circuit. Um, a lot of the corners are very high speed and you have to be very smooth with the car, otherwise you lose a lot of time. Um, a couple of years ago they put in a new section to make it a bit more tight and twisty but it's, uh, it's still one of the fastest circuits uh, in the world. Corner one is, is a really fast corner. You approach in seventh gear, go down to sixth, have a really small break, and go to throw as fast as possible. There's a really good run of area on the exit, so you can put two wheels on the outside of the track. Megates and Beckett's are a great complex um, for our It's real high speed in these cars as well, and especially on new tyres. We're, we're flat out through the first start of the complex, and you're know, just down to two gears for, for, for Beckett's. And yeah, it's a, a great complex to do and, and really exciting to race. And then um, the other famous corners is Stow, which is very tricky. The car always understeers, but um, that's just how it is. You have to deal with it. And then you have a new paddock, which starts with a chicane. You have a really slow left, the second gear. A short shift for third for the for the right part of the chicane, and then then just go flat. Uh, there's a kink before the new paddock. Go flat through there. Another fast corner, Abbey through there, flat. Uh, I remember last a uh, few years ago when I was in Formula 1000, that corner was nowhere near flat. So the aero here is just fantastic on the cars. Really, really good. The the third corner of that complex, uh, you break, put forward here, and go in the throttle as 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 quick as possible to have a good, uh, a good run on the straight, which is really long and you can make or lose positions up there. We go down to the back straight and go into Brooklands and then another stay speed into Luffield and then onto the main straight and back across the start finish line. The track's absolutely awesome, really high flowing track with some good um, tight corners, which makes the racing really good. Yeah, it's a good circuit, I like it. The drivers uh, have their aim to be in Formula 1 or in the upper classes, uh, the world classes. And for this, uh, you have to be at the racetrack if there are races. And it's at the weekend and um, two days before. I train really hard, go to the gym, run, bike, swim, so to be really fit for the racing. Uh, go simulators before the race to learn the tracks. There are special colleagues, special schools where it is allowed to drive, special uh, sports schools. Um, Mostly, they have to. <laughs> they're allowed to drive. Yeah. I'm currently doing A levels in Oxford. We previously talked with the with the director of the school. It's a tutorial college. It's it, it's not that you have assist every day, so they're pretty flexible with with going time away. I need to catch up next week, obviously. So it's a bit harder work, but yeah, I find the time and my main objective right now is racing. I live in the U.S. and. I just fly to the races. Fortunately, we found an internet program, so I'm thinking online school. Because I'm only 17, so I'm, I'm in sick form doing my AS levels. I have an exam on Wednesday, actually, um, so it's going to be tricky. But um, I just fit in racing whenever I can around my school, because at the end of the day, uh, you need to have a good education behind you, just in case this doesn't work out. I'll probably have to take some time off school, and what I'll do is I'll just bring some of my work with me, and work in the hotel and catch up when I get back. And uh, the school are happy for me to do that, and it's very nice of them. The aim is Formula One, and we are not a beginner class, so you have to do something if you want to be in a Formula One, and that means you have to stay at the race weekend at the track. I just stopped school because I didn't have time to do everything together. Uh, so I do some work as well for my dad, um, and then uh, we have a good combination with racing. I have a training center very close to my home, and uh, I can train there with my trainer and it's going very well and at the same time I'm training at Red Bull because I'm in a simulated program there. I'm currently working uh, as a host um, but in the meantime I just try and stay at the gym all the time. I've got um, my coach Enzo Mucci who does a lot of um, mind stuff with me, mind management um, and also iZone over at Silverstone so that just keeps me going uh, when I'm not in the car. 
I do now do occupational therapy um, at Pastoral Healthcare, which is my dad's business. And uh, so I do that during the week. And, and also I train quite hard. I'm part of a cycling club called the Ajax and uh, do a lot of cycling, you know, around about 250 miles a week. So my training takes paramount over everything. And uh, and also during the week, I'll just be preparing for, for the next race. Uh, for, like, for example, Silverstone. I was looking at traces, brake traces, throttle traces, just to get a, an idea of the braking points and throttle inputs. Uh, and also looking at onboard, uh, just getting myself familiarization with the corners and the speed. Um, and then obviously uh, just research your track weather and all of that, so we're fully prepared for the race. We are here with the SRO and uh, with the organization from the, from the track and it was excellent to work with both together, it fit very well and this weekend we have the uh, Blanc Pas Fia GT3, we have the AutoGP and uh, Lamborghini Cup and also for sure the NEC Formula Renault. Quality went really well actually, I got pole for both races. Um, I actually only got pole by I think one hundredth of a second from that. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, pull out a bit of a gap, just have a little cushion of comfort, but um, I think it's going to be very close again. Conceal the championship lead is, is the main thing and you know the objective of the end of the season is to win that championship by the end. So to honest with you, I'm not too worried about today whether I finish second or first. That's, uh, I think the best result is to, to get the team team result this weekend and, uh, and and just sort of forget about the obviously last weekend at post. So. We're in the same team, but um, when we're out there, it doesn't change anything between us. We're still going to be racing each other hard and fair. The start of the race is every time the best thing on the weekend. To be honest, I think that's, that's, that's the reason why we do this job. Uh, that's is one of the best moments at the weekend. And uh, yeah, it's since yeah, now eight years, every time the same. Yeah, a fantastic start. I just bogged down a little bit, but obviously it was a better start than, uh, than Jack. So we were able to go into turn one, P1 just managed to get too much wheel spin basically and let Matt through and then from that point on I just I try to keep my distance um, not get too close but not let him go too far away and wait for a mistake because it's quite difficult to follow them through the fast stuff here. Like I say teammate is always your biggest competitor but it's also the driver you have the most respect for because although we're not specifically driving for the team in terms of the team are paying us you know we're still a unit we're still a family and we all want to get the best results out of the weekend. Then after on the corner number seven, I pass four 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 driver outside. You know they they all the all brakes in, inside and I went outside and I passed four drivers and after next corner, next corner I passed two two drivers was quite good lap and I was fifteen from twenty twenty five. The race was was a bit harder than the first one because I couldn't overtake that much cars at the beginning. So then I left myself. Uh, more job to the end of the race and I kept fighting till the last lap. We have some overtaking, we have some uh, struggling, spins, um, everything uh, like a normal race and uh, yeah, well, it makes it very interesting and yeah, that's from Lorena. I was in the entry of the corner and he didn't, he didn't break, he pushed me into the right wheel and you know, I was like, 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 like this and the car is destroyed on the right side. You know, I was trying to go the to the second, you know, to, to the another line, on the side of the of the track, but they take me to the, you know, to, to the ambulance. It's my just my knee touch the st steering column, and it's you know, it's the the blood inside, and it's is getting bigger. But I think it was good that there wasn't any safety car uh, this race because um, the tyres didn't cool down, so um, I think the lap time stayed consistent. Um, but it's um, very strong grids, uh, people are constantly in your mirrors. I watched my mirrors for the first couple of laps just to check, uh, but after that there was nothing in them, so it was just focusing on Matt, and I'm sure he was just focusing on me as well. I got a good, really good slipstream, uh, went up to his rear of his car, uh, moved into the corner, uh, made a dive bump to dive into the corner and try to overtake him. Uh, and I don't think he saw me, so he kept turning in, and I was already on the curb on the inside to avoid to have a crash. Uh, but he kept turning in, and then we had an impact. And I mean, it, it's a race incident, and nothing we can do now. 
it's a really, really good car uh, and it's really fast, uh, especially for the f a first year driver like me, but uh, I really enjoy it. If I'd kept the lead, um, I probably would have won, to be honest, um, just because we were that close on pace and I was, I was able to keep up with him for the whole thing. Um, but ifs and buts, you know, it's all about doing it rather than talking about it. Jack put a tremendous amount of pressure on me, always within 0 0.5, 0 0.6 behind me. Um, and I, I made a few mistakes, but, you know, not enough to, for him to, to get close enough to then sort of be able to make a pass. So, yeah, fantastic result for me and, and the team. And then Celis, Celis went wide uh, before Blue Plant. So, I, yeah, I passed him there, but, but he was really quick, so he got me back in, in last lap. So that's unfortunate to have ended P7. Now Jack is a fantastic driver and he would only get stronger and stronger throughout the year but I like to think that we're also will get stronger and stronger throughout the year so I would like to say I'm a better driver I think we're just on different parts of, of our learning curve and you know for sure hopefully we, we will continue to, to beat Jack he's our obviously main competitor being our teammate so um, you know and fant you know fantastic job by Fortech you know managing us both Congratulations well done baby. The next race is 28th of July in Spa and the Euro Cup guys are, are back. I think we will take the decision to come again to Silverstone. 